Right, welcome to the Baked Universe and thank you for trying out our Baked Blender Pro Suite. You will find yourself on the page that you can see right here now, right, with a different video, of course. Um, so how do you get this? Well, there's a simple download button right here, which means you can pretty much download it. It will install a zip file, download a zip file, which basically means that is the add-on. You won't need to unpack this, so don't worry about that. All you need to do is go back to Blender, go to Edit, go to Preferences, and then just go to add-ons, right? And we're going to install and we're going to look for our download folder and look for the Baked Blender Pro Suite zip file that we just downloaded, right? Just double click that and it will do the installing for you. It takes a second and now we can enable this just like that, right? Now just hit this little arrow and it will just expand the menu. And here we have a few sections. We've got the verif verify that you are a Piffle Puppet holder. You won't need to do that. Um, you can do it if you have a Piffle Puppet, and that means in the future you will get access to the premium section of the add-on. But you won't have to, right? The Piffle Puppet is our NFT. Um, so you don't have to get to in into NFTs if you don't want to. You can just use the free version of the add-on. Um, for the asset library directory, it basically means the folder where your assets will be downloaded to. Okay, so make sure you have some space there. I'm going to set mine to my D drive. You can also set it to your Google Drive folder if you have that which is also very useful. Um, I'm going to set this to my D drive. I'm just going to hit new map and I'm going to name that Baked Blender Suite Assets, right? Open that up and hit accept. Now just add asset library directory and just download your asset library, right? It will take a few, a few seconds because of course there are some assets in there. We have geometry nodes, particle systems that are cached. So there is a little bit of size that is going to be downloaded. I will be back once this is done. Right, once the install is complete, we have a little button right here to check for updates. We can just check that right away. And if there is an update, which it turns out there is, we can just update that. Right, once that is done, it will give the little message to restart Blender to complete your updates. Right, so if we click that, it is going to do that for us. Right, so we can just hit don't save because I have nothing in my file. And I'm going to open Blender back up. And if we do that, it will have the new version of the add-on installed on your computer. Okay, so each time there is an update, you will get the notification. You can check for updates yourself as well. Right, if you hit the auto update preference setting for example let me show you that real quick uh, there will be a setting at the baked universe asset library which you can just hit there for auto updates right save your preferences make sure and we'll check each well you can set the interval yourself now to the good part we're gonna swipe this to the left and go to asset browser because it is an asset library and now we can set this from all to the baked universe asset library core we have two folders and the user upload is where you will install your own add-ons to be part of the library right because that's something we want to add in the future so we can all share 3d models with each other but for now it will be in the library core because that is what we actually added to the system right so this is where you can use the assets that are in there and now you can just start dragging and dropping models for example drag in your spaceships your clock towers your flamethrowers, whatever you want in there, just drag and drop it. You can even add the geometry node systems with a simple drag and drop, for example, on our trusty old friend Suzanne, add the mossify node, which is basically going to add the moss system on your object. You can do the same with the moist, of course. You get some water droplets on there, it's going to look very condensated. And we have even got some particle systems, if you have the need of for example a leaf animation you can start that up and these will be nice looking leaves falling down we have falling snow in here as well so we have snow for example that even looks quite detailed for example right so that is basically how it works once you install it that's all you need to do you can even update the library right here um, and then you can start dragging and dropping and that is basically as easy as it is and we will fill this with more and more and more to come okay so enjoy this and please leave your feedback if you think you like it um, leave a rating if you don't like it tell us why please we love to update this to well fit all of your likings as well okay thank you